This is RadioOnFire.com, home of the Sugar Mama Radio. Here are your hosts, Shamika Chantel and Chanel Nicole. You're now tuned in to Sugar Mama Radio. This is your girl, Shamika Chantel. And your girl, Chanel Nicole. Don't call us off. But like, let's go. Let's go. Listen. <laughs> I thought you knew the song was great. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it feels so good to be here. It feels good outside. It could be warmer. Ain't all that, uh, it could be warmer. Ain't all that warm. It, it could be warmer. It feels good. It feel good to me. Better than it. Today. I mean, yeah, it's better. Better than yesterday. It still ain't sixty yet. Barely fifty. Wait. Okay. So wait. Okay. So who are you? I haven't seen y'all. Who are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> it's just. It's. Ah. It has been a long time. Are. No, of course not. It's Sugar Mama Radio. I'm Chanel Nicole. <laughs> she really gonna, you really gonna answer him? Right, I know. Right, I'm gonna feed. I'm gonna feed it to him. Being sarcastic, diamond. <laughs> Always, oh, Daddy McDot. Yeah, so it's good. I'm good. I'm glad to see y'all. Yeah, thank I you. you oh, I feel love. <laughs> <Yeah>. Normally, <laughs> we have love in the station, but it's like, oh hey, get to work, and then we see each other outside of work. So now I just feel love. Should make a smile from ear to ear. Yeah, I'm happy. Diamond, <laughs> diamond gave me a hug and shit. Like I, I gave you a hug. I feel yeah. love. <laughs> gave, that's, that's the I, second hug I've ever given her. I, I gave well, no, I, third. Okay. Because I saw her out Monday. And we ain't seen each other. Oh, okay. Right. You was out Monday. Right. How about that? Red Maple, yo. Oh, okay. What Shout out to um everybody that was at Red Maple Monday. Of course, Ready Going Fire was in the building. Sean loved to Baltimore's own Brave Williams. Absolutely. And Frank Johnson. I couldn't make it, but I heard it was a nice event. Shorty, if I'm there, you there. Regardless there you if you're there or not, there you, you are ready. <laughs> <laughs> what else been going on? Oh, my God. We're having. I, what did you have to tell me? That's what I want to know. I ain't gonna do this on air. Listen, Shamika, as soon as she came in, she got something to tell me. Okay, so, so this of course is the thing. we wait so, till we get on air. All right, so let's all right, so the weekend has been really eventful. Absolutely. Shout out to Oxygen Saturday Saturdays. If y'all are not doing anything on Saturdays, even if you are, make way make your way to Oxygen on Saturdays. It's a good look. Good people, good vibes, good music, I was there. Good drinks. You was there? I had to leave because dance spirit. <clears throat> No, I was there in oh. real life. <laughs> Don't and I mean you gonna let for her. No, my little good. cousin had to leave. Why? What happened? I was there in real life last night. Why didn't see you? I had you got there late. Oh, I left at like eleven forty-five, like eleven. I got there like eleven thirty. So you was there before me. Yeah. Wow. I was there, man. I had free drinks. It was open bar and shit. I was wow. chilling at the bar you was for. There early. So I was there Tana? super so early. Tana was there. You I ain't see Tana. Tana. She I ain't seen nobody. She got there like 11, so you must... You, yeah. I had to drop my little cousin off all the way out the county. By the time I got there and was making my way back, it was about to be over. Okay. Yeah. So I seen y'all pictures. It's like y'all had fun. We had fun. It's Friday. Um, what did I, you do? You so dry. I've been gone for great. a second and I come back. the news. Yeah, I'm about to try at least... It's great to be a, a, a sugar oh mom exclusive. Friday, oh, right? I'm nervous. So Friday, I'm sitting at my desk. Minding my business at work. Somebody's, oh, this guy I know is texting my phone. Okay. I'm ignoring it because I'm at work. So he starts now blowing, you at no he starts blowing my phone down. <laughs> Start blowing my phone down. Because so he I'm know like, you be picking up. So to the other people, that means calling you back to back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're from blowing. Baltimore. Like, <laughs> you got to let people yeah, know I was slang. We, we people right. from all over. <laughs> So he started blowing my phone down. So I'm looking like, why is he texting? Why is he calling me? So I looked at my phone, look, you know, opened the text messages. It says, um, <laughs> "Do not open that video. Did not mean to send it to you. Show me the video." Of course, I'm going to open the video if you told me that. So I'm looking like, "Oh my God, let me see." So you know, my phone. I'm I'm a Galaxy user. Shout out to all my Android users. Y'all the shit to me. Woohoo. But what, my what y'all got over there? iPhone? My, oh, Android? But yeah. <laughs> but listen, my text is a little delayed. <laughs> so I got the video after he said that. Right. So I'm looking like, okay, where's the video? So I got the video. But let me show you the video. Oh, my God. Is this something we can- and this is a... Can we put this on air? Can we show no, them on air? We're going to get shut down. We, okay, so this okay. is what it is. Okay, so it's one of those. So things. the video, it was basically just, I'm going to see it. Okay. While, we, while you explain, I could break it down. So this guy. Look, this I, I got to see. This guy that I know, this guy that I know, he's actually a really cool dude. Okay. And um, not 
I, I, it's not on that type of level. It's like he's just cool, and right. sometimes we do, you know, business with one another. And I, and okay, I know so him. so y'all have not been together. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. We, we need no to way, that shape, up. or form. So he sends me. You this. heard that little boo boo. <laughs> Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> so he sends me. I mean, he did try his hand a couple of times, but I just wasn't ever interested. All right, wait a minute. Just get. I won. So he sends me the video. This is what he sends me. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So some people cannot see anything, and it's just audio. Uh, so she's going to her phone. She's okay, pulling so up the video. the video. Here is the video. <laughs> What's happening on the video? Is he eating? Is he eating? Oh, no, be quiet. What is he doing? <laughs> He's not going to hear what. <laughs> okay, so Chanel's mouth is wide open. She's in disbelief. The henna has been removed from her hands. What is happening? And let, let me let me let me tell you. No, you're not gonna want to see this. You don't want to so see this. So let me just tell you. So he sent this to you. He sent this to me by mistake. By mistake. <laughs> so I'm that looking at the no video. Mi- I'm looking at the video like, yeah, he ain't sent this to me by mistake. You know how? First of all, it's a video of a guy beating his. You know. So I'm looking like he ain't sent this to me by mistake. This is some bullshit. So I'm getting ready to cuss his ass out, and I'm still watching the video. Like, wait a fucking minute. This is not even him in the video. Girl, that's not even him in the video. What? So another guy must have sent this to him, and he was sending it to somebody hold else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I missed it. I, I missed it. What happened? I, <laughs> that's He's in birds. Okay, so we have viewers and listeners. Some people are just okay, hearing so audio, so they don't know what is going on right now. For those that is... That I, that is listening to you, just the audio. Shamika just showed me a video um, from <laughs> someone who sent her a video of him pretty much masturbating. But when she looked in the background, it's not him. It's another man. It's another man. Wait, slow down, because I'm slow. Okay. He's- I drive slow, and I understand slowly. So let's, let's go over this again. Mm-hmm. You got a video. Mm-hmm. From a guy. Minding your own business. Minding my business. And the guy says, randomly, don't look at this. Don't look at this text. Don't, don't look at the video, look at which it. made you look at the video. Well, made me look at the video. You look at the video, so you see a guy jerking off. Okay, mm-hmm. and you look in the background. What do you mean by the background? Because um, at first you couldn't see the face. So okay, I'm, so it's just why zoomed I'm watching in on vid- himself. No, no. Listen, at first you couldn't see his, the. It's from an angle. Just it's scale. from an angle, okay. and then he lifted up some, so then you see his, his face. face. Yeah. Okay. And it's not the guy who sent her the video. It's another guy. <laughs> <laughs> he got Why caught. Why does he have that? Why does he have that? He got caught. Oh, that's crazy. It's, Did you know the other guy? No, I'm. I know him from somewhere, but I don't know him. Okay. Okay. So be, while I'm looking at the video, because you because you couldn't see his face in the beginning, I'm straight starting to you know get ready to text him and cuss him out like, don't be sending me no <laughs> bullshit like this. Like, right. I'm get ready straight go in on him. Right. But then, I, then the right. can no listen. Then the ca- <laughs> then oh the, then he lifted the camera up to see like the body and the face, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not even him. See, and that's the thing. It's so many guys afraid to be who they really are because of everybody else around. So they do sneaky shit like this and then still get caught. And the video was a whole minute long. Yeah, like... Like a whole (laughs) minute. Yeah. So that n- nice piece of meat is a waste. Is just a waste. That, 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 was that a nice is piece a of waste. Meat that's just gone away. He's sending it. He who who are you, Mister? Sending this video to. That is crazy, Shamika. And and then, so, how do you feel about him? Like, do y'all see each other often? So now his secret, like, I I mean I don't. It's, well, all, it's safe with you because you didn't say no names. But it's, oh yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to go that far. But I thought it was something we. I, I'm I'm still in shock. Like, and it's I, funny because I see so many guys who be like, yo, Chanel, y'all need to get us on the show. Excuse me, you guys. This um weather. 
Yeah, no, I got over it, and then I thought I could be outside. <laughs> like, it was summertime, and then I got a cold again. Don't try that at home. Mm-hmm. But, um, yes, that is... So many guys come up to me like, Chanel, y'all need to let us on your show. Like, what do y'all want to talk about? Everybody want to come on the show, but what will we really talk about? Let's talk about these undercover brothers. I mean, it's a... It's that a, is so funny because it's... It's a lot of them, and I done heard a lot of stories, and I done seen a lot of shit with my own eyes, so... Absolutely. I told you about my experience when I went to Hippo that night for my best friend's birthday, right? No. Girl, I ain't talking about my experience at Hippo. No. Oh, my goodness. So, I goes at Hippo. You seen somebody in Girl, <laughs> I goes up at Hippo, baby, on a Thursday night. <laughs> they turns it up, you hear me? So, I'm in there for my best friend's birthday. And um, I'm with her... I'm with them. It's like several of us. So mind you, I'm looking at guys, but the guys is looking at guys too. You feel me? Like I mean, these are hood hood dudes. Like somebody, my type. Somebody that probably like they Hold asked you for on. your phone number. Hold you probably would have gave it to them. And it was so interesting. It's so divine how things happen, and you know, situations get aligned. It's this one particular guy. He's from like mm, Park Heights. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's a lot of people from around Park Heights. There's this one particular guy from Park Heights who always tried to get my number. Mm-hmm. And one time, I, I considered it like, he like, we should go to lunch. Like, just always irky a little bit. But I'm like, all right, whatever. I had just seen him at Mirage on a Sunday night, the Sunday before that Thursday. Mm-hmm. And that Thursday, I seen him inside Hippo getting a dance by another guy. And when he seen me, what? girl, you could have thought the world was over. And he seen me. Like, we seen each other. Like, my mouth was wide open. Like, you know how you can't talk? Like, mister, I just seen you Sunday. Dancing, you with your niggas. You dancing with all these bitches, booking bitches. I come down here, and you pressed up. Getting your freak on with like another guy. So I not Shamika, I told you this story so before. What you found, so what if you was in a relationship and you found out that the guy you was dealing with, he okay, he claims he's not gay, but he he's you know that he's bisexual, whatever you wanna call it. Like I don't know. Like what how what do you download guys that don't wanna come, you know, be open that they may be bisexual? I don't think that no guy been from where we from, like here in Baltimore, I, there's a lot of undercover guys. And just because of our city, I think, they don't think they'd be accepted. So they're going to be undercover. So I don't think we will ever find out unless it's a situation like you got this sent to your phone or I so happen to be in hippo. So what if you were in a relationship when you were talking to a guy for a really long time and you found out that he liked guys too? What would you do? Would you still talk to him? Absolutely not. <laughs> what are we going to do? Share some? No. I don't know. Ew. That okay. is disgusting. Did you hear about the guy who played football? I can't think. I forgot. Where was that? I think Texas. His girlfriend was a guy. He never knew it. And he killed him. And then now he's going to jail because he killed the girl who was really a guy once he found out that his girlfriend was a man. He was a star football player. I think Texas, the co- um, college in Texas. Mm. I gotta look up on that story. Yeah, so many undercovers, and that shit is so dangerous. But, yeah, so. <laughs> that's another that's show. The for- <laughs> that's a tea. That's a, we can, we can have a whole show about that's that, baby. Tea, but yeah. I was just a little caught off guard by the whole situation. So, April 4th. April 4th. Shamika, what's going oh, on April yes. 4th? Let's make oxygen. Sure make sure everyone comes out on April 4th, April 4th to Oxygen Nightclub. I'm celebrating my three-year brand anniversary. Yay. Ow. Super slick. I'm so corny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, make sure everyone comes out April 4th, Oxygen Nightclub. We're going to turn all the way up. Man, reserve my table now, man. <laughs> just, just go ahead and push, put that to the side. So, today's show, we have Celebrity Stylists. Laval with the spoon here. Yes, yes. We also have City of Gods in the building. Yes. One of the hottest apparel companies in the city. So we're going to, you know, chop it up with them. So Laval, you remember when we first met him? I do. At Brave. Let me tell you how, though, because you know me. I'm not 
the type of person that just go up to anybody and just talk to them. I'm a little shy. People, she's not shy. She's just mean and she just don't got. You feel me? Like keep it a honey. I'm just so shy. Yeah, I'm a all right. shy. Y'all don't people believe it. To differ. <laughs> but Chanel was like, "Well, we should go talk to them." I'm like, "Yes." Chanel. To everybody, I just, that's what I'm saying. You're the mean one. I'm the nice. One telling you, I just want to talk to everybody. Like, Shamika like, so be what, like, "What you gonna say when you go?" Right. <laughs> hey, how you doing? We shook him up already, yo. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, you go. I'm, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm watching her. She go over there. And it's like, okay, that wasn't too bad. Cause I said, but everybody was smiling. Everybody was having a nice time. See, and that was our first time. Hands, so I go over there, like, what y'all talking about? <laughs> I think that was our first time. Um, it was interesting because that was we was at Brave Williams. Um, shout out to Brave R and B Divas L A. She had invited us to her writers rap event. Um, and it was so many different media personalities there and it's like our first year and we really mm-hmm. busting in. So for us to go and just, you know, we like the newcomers. Yeah. So it's like, we coming in trying to in- introduce ourselves to people. Cause I guess sometimes people be established and they just, you know, chilling. And I've gotten better on doing so. Yeah. I've been re- meeting lots of really connected people and it's just, yeah. Sugar Mama Radio vibes just been awesome yeah so but yeah at first i wasn't too keen on just walking up to people like, hey my name is shamika <laughs> right <laughs> and so, then yes. we met him there and it's always love ever since he's fresh from me from miami yep i think yeah he's from miami yep so and he's now here in baltimore or dc i think um killing the game right now killing the game yeah and we got the guys from City of Gods here. Yes, yes. I'm I wonder if they bring me a sh- brought me a shirt. I hope they brought us a gift. I hope so. But I'm sure if they didn't, they're going to tell you where their store is located, so you can go up Highland this one. Street. <laughs> I, I think that's. I think that store is on Highland Street. But yeah, definitely. So we're going to go into a commercial break. I'm so happy y'all are here. You are. Yeah, it was a bunch of chatter in the background. I know you're probably like, "Oh, we're doing a show. Can you shut the <laughs> fuck up?" Oh no, we. Yeah. See, we're getting better because we straight ignore Right, I mean, because back in the day. We would have been like, Diamond. <laughs> she would have been like, hold on a minute, y'all. You see we doing a show here, right? <laughs> really? That would have been Shamika, not me. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, so, there's going to be some changes that's going to yes, be happening. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, so, Sugar Mama Radio is going to be on live four to six. Four to six. Every Sunday. Right. And so, that was... DJ Booby that was just here. So Booby's going to be doing a show following your show. Okay. Okay. So they're going to be, um, you know. Mixing and mix. Yeah. Right. right. So that's what's going to happen. I he, see. That was him because he looked different from when the I said in the woods. Yeah. yeah, but that was him. He, did he cut his head down or something? I don't get in all that. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You're not the guy that takes. Yeah, he not. He not sending those videos. Know you know that's Scotty that. McDot right there. He ain't paying attention. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. You got a girlfriend now. What? <laughs> well, I'm not making no announcements. Say what? I'm not making no announcements. What you mean? Because no I don't want to be on the social media tab. First of all, I was never Thotty Mc. What did you say? No. Oh, look, I now he was that. never. No, you, never, never you, you never stopped me from saying that, though. So now you stopping me. <laughs> Diamond, you didn't answer the question, though. What? You got a girlfriend now? Uh, let me say this. Okay. <laughs> Do you I have am, a woman in yeah, your life? Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yes. Do you I, have I a love yesterday. interest? Yes. Are you in love? Ooh. Ooh. It could be Ooh. getting there. Getting there? Could Ooh. be getting there. Oh, I think I all those like snow you. days. All those snow days. Y'all been kind of. She ain't, she ain't a big girl, is, is she? Hmm. Okay, because you know, cuffing scenes are over. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> is no, it, this some, is, this is is it somebody different. we know? Have we ever seen her? Yes. Is she in the building right now? No. No. Okay. I think I know who it is. Can I, I want to say. If you guess this one, you're good. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to throw a name out there. Go fine. ahead. Are you really going to throw a name out there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was about to try right after you. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, I'm you have, uh, I'll say this. You have seen it before. No, because if I say her name, she's going to kill me if it ain't her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Do she do radio? Yeah. No. She don't? Oh, then no. that's not her then. No. So, where will we have seen her at? 
Just make it a little warmer, damn. You would have seen her out in a club. Have we ever spoke? Yes. Hmm. Yes. That's all I'm gonna give you. Uh, that's it. It'll come out. It, it, it'll. We can only uh, keep it under wraps, but for so long. So. I'm trying. It's to gonna. Think. So Don't be trying to take pictures say, of our say, face expressions. Well, we'll find out. We'll we will drop that bomb on Sugar Mama Radio. See, let me you, let me rather you, you like it or not, because we live, so we gonna put. I'm trying <laughs> to stay out of the social media tabloids. That's with why you with your relationship. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Yes, I swear. So Shamika, no, you don't think it's a good idea because I've been seeing your boo all on your page, hugged up, kissing <laughs> this shit. Man, what you talking about, Shamika? In fact, she got love life. Everybody, wait a minute. So I'm the only one that's about to be single. I'm single. That's only that's my friend. Hmm. Now with that smile like that. <laughs> <laughs> You've been, you been having your lips real juicy the last couple of times post, I've seen you. something that said you were tired of eating alone. What was that about? Yeah. I don't know because she just wasn't. She just be running her mouth because she don't be eating alone. She's just talking I, trash. No, okay. I do. Like, I really do. She just be running the her mouth. The way these niggas be in your DM sending you dick pics and videos and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> you would think I would have a date often, but no. Dang, I don't get none. Maybe they think I am the, maybe I am the mean one on the low. You, they don't be in your DM? I mean, in my DM, but yeah, but not all that extra stuff. I can't find, I'm just like, I'm going to screenshot and post. See, what we do is <laughs> I, I'll screenshot it and send it to my home, put it in my homegirl's group, group text. Match. I'm like, look at this nigga. <laughs> right. Oh, for real? That's what y'all do? Yes. Absolutely. Why y'all do that? It's petty, but so are you. It is what it is. you to send me a picture. <laughs> okay, so y'all don't like those. No, that is this. No, I would like it depending on who it is. If it's if it's my dude and we dealing with each other, we in a relationship. You wouldn't yeah. do that. Though. Hey, daddy, send me a picture. And then you yeah. post it. And then you let your girlfriend see. No, that? no, no, not, no, not your nigga. Definitely not that. Not your nigga. You can't look. She said definitely oh, not oh, that. that. All right, so, so. <laughs> Do you have a business, product, or event that you need to promote to men and women ages 23 to 44? If so, Radio on Fire can help you do it with one of our promo packages. Our broadcasts reach over 150,000 people per month. Sponsorship for one or all of our radio programs can include live mentions, social media posting, commercials, and more. Visit RadioOnFire.com slash advertise to find out more about a promo package that fits your needs. Rates start as low as $50. If you want to reach men and women ages 23 to 44, log on now. RadioOnFire.com.